Okay, Harun, welcome to your Peter platform. Let's start your snap for the subject of IP. And yes, uh, you're going to appear for the uh, JQPSC A interview. Yes, Correct? Yes, sir. Okay, Harun, my first question would be what is the difference between camber and super elevation? Yes, sir. So, camber is essentially a cross slope that is provided in uh, roads uh, for uh, the drainage purposes. Where a super elevation is provided uh, on the horizontal curves so that uh, it can counteract the centrifugal force. How will the super elevation counteract this, uh, this uh, centrifugal force? So because in uh, super elevation, we raise the outer edge. So there is the, like the normal component, the horizontal component of the normal force that actually counteracts. While as if the, the ground is fairly plain, so there will be no horizontal component of the normal uh, reaction. So uh, like there will be, um, Hence, we say that super elevation is beneficial by like uh, counteracting the centrifugal force. What are the minimum, uh, maximum and minimum value of camber and what is the maximum and minimum value of super elevation? I guess, sir. Sir, for camber, it is, uh, for the earthen roads, it is 4%. And for the, uh, if there is uh, this uh, high cement, uh, this uh, surfaces, it is 2% for high rainfall. If there is low rainfall, it can be reduced to 1.7%. While as in case of super elevation, the value will be around 7%. Uh, in hilly, hilly areas, it can be uh, increased to 10%. And uh, for, for those players that are not bound by Suno, if they are bound by Suno, we have to reduce it to 7% only. What is the minimum value of super elevation? Uh, sir, minimum value of super elevation will be equal to amber only, sir. It should be sufficient to drain, drain the water. Why uh, are we limiting the super elevation value to 7% or 10% when maybe some higher value could come out of the calculation? Yes, sir. So if uh, the value is quite higher than uh, some vehicles, uh, like they will topple because uh, if there is uh, the super elevation is quite high, so there uh, the gravity force will try to counteract them and they will they can scare, they can fall actually. So that's the reason we limit it to certain values. Okay. Suppose you have a 2% down gradient. Yes, sir. And it is meeting 3% up gradient. Yes, sir. Which type of curve will be for, uh, formed here? It will be valley curve, sir. Okay. And what are the design considerations of the valley curve? So the design considerations of valley curve are first, we have to look for the comfort conditions, drainage conditions, and also we have to provide the headlight side distances. Okay. In case of summit curve, what are the design considerations? In case of summit curve, it is uh, mainly those uh, stopping side distance only and also the vertical side distance. That is usually suction. Why comfort criteria is not a case, uh, not a design consideration in case of summit curve? Uh, sir, in, because in summit curve, uh, the uh, actually the centrifugal force and the gravity, they add it. So it is not uh, creating any discomfort. While in, in case of valley curves, the gravity force is acting downwards and centrifugal force is acting upwards. So there is a kind of discomfort the passengers usually feel. Why is extra widening provided on curve? So the extra widening is provided because of the variety of reasons. One reason is the rigidity of the wheelbase. Because uh, the two wheels, they try to uh, follow the different paths. That is the reason. And second reason is the psychological widening. The drivers always try to like uh, have a psychological sense that we have to like uh, move towards the outer edges. So because of that, we provide the psychological widening also. Okay. Uh, when does uh, the when does the provision of a traffic rotary proves more beneficial than traffic signals? Traffic rotaries are better if right turning traffic is more and uh, the traffic from all the rotaries are like all the sections are almost equal and also when the traffic volume is between 500 to 3000 vehicles per hour. Okay. Um, which uh, need more space? Traffic signals or traffic rotaries? Sir, repeat, sir, I'm not able to listen to that. I mean, which of the following traffic devices need more space? Traffic rotary or traffic? The rotaries. The rotaries require more area. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, in case of traffic rotaries, what uh, should be the radius of the central island? Uh, radius should be uh, 1.33, I think, of the entry radius. 
something around that. Okay. Uh, how much super elevation is provided on traffic road? Super elevation, sir. I'm not sure about that. I don't know, sir. Okay. So how would you design the radius of the entry radius? Sir, radius of? How would you design the entry radius? You said now the, uh, the radius of the central island is one point yes, three times. Yes, so how sir. entry radius is designed? So it will be de depending on the uh, design speed. Like how much, uh, what are the vehicles that usually uh, are in that area and what is their composition? Depending on that, we have to like uh, design. See, design speed for rotary is already defined. No? We don't yes. allow high speed traffic into rotary if there is some speed limit. Yes, sir. Uh, 40 km per hour, yes. 30 km per hour. 30 and 40, yes, sir. So, the uh, R6 will be always? Uh, Sir, if we take the same 30 or 40 IRC guidelines, then I think we fix it. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what are the differences between tar and bitumen? Yes, sir. So bitumen is actually produced for, from the, it is a petroleum byproduct, while as tar is produced from the fractional distillation of food. The bitumen is better in the way that uh, it is less temperature susceptible and there is uh, less free carbon generated. Well, as in case of tar opposite is true, sir. Suppose you have two aggregate sample. One has a Los Angeles subdivision value of 20% and yes, other sir. has a Los Angeles subdivision value of 30%. Which yes, one sir. is better? Uh, abrasion value that is higher will be non good, -non sir. That is, power one will be better, sir. Okay, right. let me give you feedback, uh, Harun. Uh, yes, I think your highway, okay. Aapka highway ka knowledge jo hai, that is quite good. So highway, you have to prepare karne ki, aur zyada prepare karne ki hai. Just aap revise kar sakte hai. That is, keep on revising. Uh, all the maybe testing, wagera, ye sab hai, aap ek baar dekh sakte hai. Otherwise, aapka theek hai. Yes, mujhe major flaw mujhe nahi laga hai. Yes, so, baaki subjects pe aap focus kar sakte hai. Sir, rotary ka sir, last mein wo radius wala sir, wo theek ka hai, galat ka wo. Radius. Rotary radius uh, is bad, but depend on that we don't provide super elevation in rotary. So, uh, utna radius we will provide that you can manage centrifugal force. Ko wo manage kar yes, sir. So, with that. Okay. Sir. Otherwise, you are fine. I don't have any major flaw. Okay. Thank you. All the very best. Okay.